hello everyone welcome back to a brand new video thank you guys so much for uh the love on the previous Xanima video the semi re review of the arena mode and uh since a lot of people have asked me to play the adventure mode or like explore the dungeon which is the main mode of Xanima actually uh that's what we'll be doing today disclaimer though i'm not really good with the dungeon mode i don't really play i, I have a lot of hours in Xanima but i only in the arena so this is going to be sort of like a discovery thingy for both of us hopefully like if if i can make it to level two of the dungeon because i know there are like seven uh seven levels if i can just make it through the first level because i never have if i make it through the first level i'll actually be happy with that by the way the coolest thing about like this blows my mind when i think about it is that apparently exanima is basically just like a game within another game that the studio is producing basically they're working on a open world game called sui gen generis I guess. And the uh, Exanima is basically taking place in the dungeons of that game. That is so cool. Oh my God. But apparently it's stuck in development hell and people really doubt that it's going to come out. But yeah, hey, fingers crossed. So yeah, let's uh, begin our journey without further ado. Let's make like a strong, you know, make him bold, make him bold for uh, hitbox purposes. <laughs> you know what? This is going to be a manly man. He's going to complete the dungeon. He's not going to be afraid of anything. Maximum steel. Boom. Uh, we've got some combat ability. We wake up! Apparently, there's no real lore to this game. Developers are super, like, tight-lipped about it. They're basically like, read the in-game lore. And assist him in whatever way you can. If all else fails, then recover any information he has gathered and bring it to me. There is potential in you. Succeed here, and we will find a place for you. There is another way out. Tell you what. We'll try and figure out like our own lore. That's going to be our mission with this video. Simo Squad is going to basically figure out its own, like what this game is all about. Uh, barely a shield, but you get me. It's a barrel lid, whatever. We were probably sent by someone. Someone is already in this dungeon and we were sent by someone else to recover either him or whatever information that guy found. Whoa, bruh. I think he, yeah, he's passive. Oof bruh mini jump scare oh yeah chest all right all right i'll take the boom use this as my secondary sharp objects in this game give you like permanent damage which can kill you the red damage if you've seen my arena review and they just make me so uneasy because this game is hardcore as hell if you die you lose all your progress you, you do the dungeon again i think there's checkpoints between every two levels but again i've never oh fuck she's got a sharp weapon Oh, fuck, I'm gonna fall. <laughs> Boom! Oh my god, yep, I took some red damage there, you see it? Permanent damage. Alright, fuck! First encounter and we've already lost some health. God, that, that kind of jump scared me when she came around the corner. They they have a tendency to do that. But yeah, I've never actually made it to level 2. Better shield, boom. Oh, a leather vest, very nice, very nice. My philosophy on mazes like these is basically like establish an area of operations where you're operating right now which is this room clear all the immediate rooms that have that lead nowhere and then go back to the ones that branch out somewhere else compass <sighs> huge 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 I, I sense that there's a fight coming. You see that person? They seem to be guarding something. You see that? There's a chest behind them. They're not even moving. Right, hold on. We're going to barricade this door. It's hard to, to open now. Okay. <laughs> I am a tactical genius, bro. Yep. <sighs> Told you. Let's bring out the, the real weapons. Let's chunk him. Ooh. Nice cut. Nice cut. Shit! Ooh. Ooh. My god, I took even more damage. 
uh, he gave me a really good swing there. I really hope that chest was worth it. Well, kind of a helmet to hide my uh, bald head. <laughs> and uh, leather gloves. Not too bad. Also, I seem to have uh, leveled up. Repost. This is what I what I wanted. You basically block a hit and respond with an attack, which is what I'm used to. This is like a lumber area. Because I've seen a lot of lumber around, actually. What is this dungeon even? So, sort of like some craftsman area or some shit like that. Friendly? Friendly. <laughs> Yo! Okay, okay, okay. Hello, 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 hello. I think when I last played this dungeon, this guy was not here. Who are you? I'm just a farmhand. Name's Darren. I'm at Darren. I go by Maximum Steel, I think. Necromancer? What necromancer? Okay, well, if there are dead people walking, there's probably a necromancer around, right? If they get in my way, I'll kill them. Do you intend to make yourself useful? I'll do my best. Okay, we've got a follower. All right, let's give him some stuff. Do not use anything that is not blunt. You'll just end up killing me, man. You're gonna swing the wrong way and I'll be dead. Ooh, a chest. Almost missed that. I am not giving him an axe. Maybe the metal bar. But I'm not giving him an axe. He'll, he'll fucking kill me if I do. And the book. Detailed of various materials being delivered and dispatched. Yeah, it's like like a logbook for craftsmen. Okay, well, I can tell what happened here. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Was, that's me. Ooh. Dude, I'm gonna come out of this dungeon drippy as hell. Okay, let's use the key. Hey, opened. Ooh, that's a good find. Oh my god, lucky. I'm pretty sure that between like games, if you start a new game, you get different weapons generated in chess. So that's actually a very lucky find. What the hell? There's something going on, man. Something's wrong. I can feel it. Just keep to ourselves there, okay? I'm just passing through, madam, please. Whoa. Okay. Get her, Darren. Let's go, Darren. All right, good job, good job. Close that f***ing door. Barricade it real quick. Yeah, both of us are gonna come out with solid drip. I have an idea. Maybe I don't need the shield. If I need the shield, I can swap. I thought all those three were friendly. Thing obstructing the way. Move that table. Come on, yes! Come on, Darren, you can make it, bro. Get in. A key. All right. Major, major drip. Someone disappeared, but there's no ransom. That means that person ventured into this dungeon. Ah. Uh, Close. There's a lever on the other side. You see it? Maybe the the key we found is used on one of those uh, doors we found in the very beginning. If you guys remember, there was a door opposite of where we started that was locked. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great sadness that I must inform you that I might be lost. Ooh. Drip though. We've got some drip. Oh, okay. I remember where I am. You're gonna fight me? Whoa, whoa, shit. It's crazy axe man shit. He's running away. We got him. Let's go. Good stuff, Darren. Teamwork. All these people are starting to freak out, man. Why is everyone becoming hostile? Ooh. Get her, Darren. Get her off me, Darren. I got her. Shit, Darren, behind you. Nice, Darren. Nice, nice, nice. Close that shit. We need to recover, Darren. You're right, Darren. I've been better, but nothing serious. All right, good to hear. Good to hear. Those pants are better, I'm pretty sure. They're kilted, yeah. Please be friendly. I'm tired of killing everyone. Yeah, this is where I woke up. Okay, so the key that I found must be used on this door. Yep, works. Ooh, what is that? Ouch. Ooh, it's like a contained inventory kind of thing. All right, let's put that in here. I want to check the other door as well. There was a door to the south. Maybe this key opens it as well. It does. Too many people. It's looking pretty sussy, Darren. <sighs> yep, 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 yep. Get inside, Darren. Oh, they're fighting each other. Close the door. No, Darren, don't go out. Don't go out. We don't need any of that beef, Darren. Trust me, we don't need that beef, Darren. Darren, it's not worth it, Darren. <laughs> Sit down, Darren. <laughs> Sit down, Darren. <laughs> You calm down. Boom. We got him there. The dead one. I knew her. It was Marley. For a moment, I thought she recognized me too. Well, she won't be doing that anymore. What a horrible thing to say. I'm sorry, Darren. I'm sorry. Out of the way, Darren. Oh no, I made him fall. 
What does this lever do? Oh, fuck. Are those van braces? They sure are. <laughs> oh, oh. What is this? The thick substance in this jar emits a faint glow and has a pungent but somehow inviting odor. Oh, I think this is a healing potion. Gods below, what am I doing? It is horrifying. It is as if I suddenly wake to realize that I am fueled by rage. What the fuck? Mostly complex diagrams and surgical terminology that deals with the brain. Yeah, it would make sense if that's a necromancer talking. Undergoing treatment of often grievous wounds, many of the injured appear to be bites and lacerations. Darren, I'm not enjoying this, are you? Are you? I think my illness has worsened since coming here. I often feel confused, as if battling conflicting thoughts. My temper keeps getting the better of me, an aggressive trait I never knew I possessed. Perhaps it is simply a response to all that has happened. Even so, it scares me. I don't recognize myself. I must make a greater effort to retain my composure. We're seeing so many crutches like lying down on the floor and like in storages and stuff like that. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna guess the lore. Let's do it. Oh, fuck. I ate that. Get the fuck away from me. What if I open one the door and like only let out one person at a time? They're aggressive. Shit. Close the door. Let them fight. Let them fight. Darren, you, you stupid motherfucker. All right, fight them, Darren. <laughs> what is he even using to fight? Oof. Nice. That's a leather vest for you, Darren. Yo, those are good boots. Let him pass, let him pass, and then we'll go. He won't let us pass. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, all right. We, we two shot him. Hello. I know this woman. She's from the starter area. Are we going back to the starter area? <sighs> Darren. I almost fell down there. This is so fucking risky. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? I see light. Oh, let's go. Shit, good loot. What is this? A horn. Sensational. He's just staring at us. Fuck this guy. Come on, Darren. Oof! Darren, help! Darren, I'm gonna die. Darren. I might actually die here. I think Darren's dead. Let them fight it out. Okay, they're gonna fight, I think. No, they won't. Run! Darren is up. He lost his weapon for some reason? Fuck. They're fighting. Okay, the dangerous guy died. Okay. Is Darren alive? No! <laughs> Darren, no! <laughs> Shit, Darren is dead, bro! Yo, what the fuck? Darren's straight up dead. Here you go, Darren. And rest in peace. Give me some Fs in the comments for Darren, boys. We owe it to Darren now that we keep moving forward. A list of people assigned guard duty here. The same names are repeated, signed, and stamped over and over again. This is the compound, boys. This is like a city. Ooh, wait. Okay. okay, let's take that. Give me that weapon. Use it as a secondary. If we go in here, we're risking, like, actually dying. What if we use this? Yes, some healing. Okay, I've healed most of my damage. I'm gonna use a shield. Ooh, got him. Ah, 
All right, good, 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 good. Yeah, this is a torture chamber. Oh, yo, 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 yo. An actual helmet, boys. That that skull is not human. That's not human, Rose. There's a key in the desk. It's probably one of the cells. Yo. There we go. Yo. It's double-handed? I like it. I like it. Who the fuck is that? Okay. 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 Ooh, baby, handled with such grace. <laughs> um, that's a parchment, I think. Hammond was obviously cast aside our has cast aside our agreement. He's sending far too many down here, and I've lost all contact with him. What is he trying to do? One of these wretches confessed that he was told to seek treasure. Someone will notice all these missing people. And what if one finds me while I sleep? I no longer feel safe here. I have locked the doors, but I should venture further to look for something more secure. I don't get it. I do not get it. And I will not attempt to understand. What do you what about you guys? What's what's your uh theory here? Something was glowing there and I got got a spook. Hold up. Have I actually made it to level two? Yo! <laughs> Hold on, let me check. How long did it take me? One and a half hours to get to level two. There's probably people with like speed runs of like two minutes that they can finish this shit. And it took me an hour and a half. But you know what? I'm actually super happy that I could. I could never fucking finish this game before. Not finish it. Just get to level two, as I said. Yeah, if you go here and you go make a left and go down south, that's where I met Darren. May God rest his soul. But hey, we've made it, boys. We've made it. Is this the hardest dungeon crawler ever? If I had to judge level one, I would say the combat itself is not very difficult. It's it's innovative. It's actually pretty creative. The, the 3D stuff actually puts you on edge because your character is kind of clumsy. The other person is kind of clumsy and... Uh, one wrong swing and y your HP bar could be gone. But hey, maybe the other levels are more difficult. I'd say the difficulty is actually in orienting yourself and knowing where to go and like how to backtrack and everything because I would say that the compass was probably the most useful thing to have. Because if I have a compass, even in real life, I'm kind of better at like drawing up a map in my head. Without that compass, even if you give me a map, I wouldn't be able to figure it out. Because if you keep like spinning like this, you you lose all sense of like northwest, east, south. I love it. I love the fact that they didn't include a map and they just let you stumble around and shit like that. If you guys want to see level two and uh, beyond, make sure to let me know in the comments and enough if enough people are interested. We can venture down these stairs but yeah that's all i have for you today i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys in the next one much love bye bye